In this video, I want to talk about this morning's mini Dow. Now, the mini Dow started to move prior to the 9:30 time frame. Generally, we like to wait till the 9:30 time frame to watch the mini Dow uh, start to move with the opening bell of the stock market. So, as this market started to drop, you can see the very first move, first thing in the morning. And I'm just going to draw a dollar calculator in here to give you some uh, semblance of the size of this market. That was just a $200 move in there off of that first move in the market, okay? And if we come over to the key and we take a look, the day margin on that is $500. So you'd have to have $500 in your account, uh, your margin account, to accomplish this $215 move in the market. If we draw a time frame in there, our time bar in there, we can see that this was about, oh, about... Um, took about an hour. That was a one hour move in there. This market started to move a little bit more quickly here in the after after the stock market opened up. You can see if we come in here, uh, this distance from here to here is only 10 minutes. So um, you know, so you see the difference. This is an hour and this is 10 minutes. Why is this one almost the same distance? Why is this an hour and why is this only 10 minutes? Well, because we're using range bars and range bars don't take time into consideration, only the trend. That's why we love range bars is because uh, we don't have to sit there and sit through a whole bunch of narrow sideways channel uh, time frames when each individual bar can represent a different time, a different amount of time. So as you can see, this is a nice move in here first thing off the morning with the, the Dow. I'm going to clean up this uh, drawing and I'm just going to very quickly show you this is our our uh, drive one this is our counter trend in here if we come in with a nice little trend line across there you can see that we had a, a beautiful little uh, pennant formation as this market broke once again started down our second drive down to the bottom and then we have our counter trend and then we have our third drive to the bottom and so this is a nice uh, nice little trend very first thing here in the morning off of this mini Dow just from arrow to arrow on that was about a four hundred and forty dollar move and remember my favorite strategy once we go on to a range bar six I like to once we get into the market move out to a longer term time frame and of course a longer term time frame on a range bar six or a range bar four is a five minute chart. So this is a five minute chart view of the same market. And you can see first thing this morning about 9 a.m. You can see this arrow came in on the five minute chart for a short position. Uh, if we were to use the range bar six to enter, move our stop to break even, we could then come back out to the uh, five minute chart and manage our position for a longer term trade and a longer term position. You can see currently trading off this market here, off the arrow to where the market's currently trading is a $2,140 move. Rather than staying down on the smaller time frame, down on the range bar six, we can always move out to the longer term time frame. And again, the five minute chart is a long term chart for the range bar six. The range bar six is a very small time frame. You can see we had a nice little break in here as we came in across this uh, center line between the 50% level if we come in on the 1, 2, 3 uh, calculation off of here you can see the projection this nice little 23.6% drop coming in right with the blue light system for a second opportunity for an entry on this position to a short side. If we just go in from the blue light to this light here you can see that um, that, that drop in there is about a thousand dollars uh, from blue light to where it's currently trading. So just again to give you an idea of the size of this market based on a five minute chart, $1,000 move off that second drop. That number doesn't represent commissions and fees, but if we go over to the key, again the day margin on that's $500.